Now moving to another important story, it did stop snowing in Boston today, but not before the city was buried again. Nearly 72 inches in 17 days. If folks are not climbing the walls, they're climbing ladders to clear snow from roofs. Train service stopped, so commuters had no choice but to dig their cars out. Jerika Duncan is in Boston. Seven foot snow drifts piled on the roof of this piano store caused it to buckle and break. It happened early this morning when the store was closed. If it wasn't, owner Rob Norris says the outcome could have been much worse. I mean, I'm sure there would have been deaths, you know. More than two dozen roofs have collapsed across the state. We experienced how dangerous conditions can be. Uh, we do. We have. We just heard something. That's the ceiling, yeah, that's the roof. So far, the city has had more than 40 inches of snowfall this month, making it the third snowiest February on record, with more than two weeks still to go. This is what people are up against. I'm 5'7", and many of these walls of snow are much taller than me. It's obvious when you take a look around, it will be a while before people get rid of all this snow when they find somewhere to put it. The city is using snow melting machines to get rid of 400 tons per hour. Mayor Marty Walsh is calling on Bostonians to help each other. I'm asking uh, neighbors out there to please reach out to your neighbors. I've received um, a couple of texts from folks that reached out to the neighbor next door. I didn't realize that they were homebound and needed some food and things like that. Where's the door? You're on it. 65-year-old Frank Hard's eight-foot shed is buried under the snow. He's been outside battling the winter weather every day for the last two weeks. If you get more snow on Thursday, what are you going to do? The same thing I've done always, you know, just put it anywhere I can. The city is making progress. Boston Public Schools will be open tomorrow and tonight, Scott, the National Guard moves in with dump trucks and shovels to help remove some of the snow and dig out fire hydrants. Jerika, thanks very much.